Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for all Sun, Moon, and Rising Sagittarians. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being there. Please listen to your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign and also connect with the rest. Read of, um, the comments that is left behind. I always say to you, Sagittarians, please be aware that this is a changing of the cards and it's going to be a wonderful week, but yet still, um, this week is going to begin from the 5th until the 11th. It is a week of the, the, the lovers, but it has also the energy vibration of the fire energies. And there is something that is very plaguing here. And if you are having a situation with a king of swords, be aware of them on Tuesday. It is so, it came up. And um, be aware of this man. This man is seriously not good in the head, okay? Um... Uh, on Thursday, there's going to be a death and transformation to a situation that you're leaving behind. So it's going to be transformed. And it can be a situation that has to do with a family situation of that sort of thing. But yet still, the energy for you guys is going to be the Ten of Cups. So it's going to be a week of good family energies in this week, okay? This week is going to be a profound, positive energy of family members in this week. So this is going to be extremely good. So be aware of the situation and understand where you are on your journey. Okay, as we move on and um, look in, um, the energy, you have seven, it's so weird with you guys, it's, it's a weird unbalanced week, the world, the sun, it's, 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 it's where it's all about, like your energy, your, your, own energy vibration is in the reverse form which and, and this is what I'm saying to you guys there's a situation that is happening there was uh, an invitation that was uh, sent out to you but the king of sword has something to do so the king of sword is the energy vibration of the Aries um, the Gemini's or the, the the Aries the Gemini the Aries the Gemini or um, the Librans okay I don't know who this person is and what effect he has to you, maybe he's an old boss or something like that, but get rid of this man. Ask the universe to remove you out of your life, okay? I am not sure who this person is. It can be um, a boss. It has something to do with a boss figure, and it can be a situation of a friend of that sort of thing, but I'm getting the situation of a boss figure. Whoever this man is, ask the universe to remove this air sign person who is blocking you. If you're not aware of who it is, ask the universe to remove this air sign person who is blocking you. Say, I'm calling upon the universe to help remove this air sign person um, who is blocking me from my prosperity and from the opportunities that are open up to me. I am asking the universal energies to remove this air sign person. It can be a Gemini, a Libra or a, 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 a Aquarius person, ask them to move this person out of your life. I don't know. I just got it for someone out there who is having a problem with this air sign person. It can be a man or a woman, okay? It's a sick person. These air sign people can be very unbalanced because they're from hair. So they float. They have no balance. Um, that, that's why they can spit words that can hurt people, that sort of a thing. Be aware of this person because this person is psychic, sick. It's not psychic on a good, um, it's not psychic on a good sign. It can, uh, but it's a man. It is a older person over the age of 35. It is a man. This person is uh, on balance and he's going to fall on his own trap. Whatsoever he, he has done, he's going to fall on his own trap. So, you know, let him be if it's something that he blocks you because obviously he's blocking you from going forward but he can't do that because uh, the universal angels is going whatever he said he's going to fall in it okay i don't, really don't want to go in I, I really don't give these sort of people that sort of a thing okay it's like you're going to go in battle and uh, some people are going to go in black battle with um someone of the air sign some people are going to go in battle with someone of the air sign and um, some people are going to win a battle. So it can be either or either. It depends on who you are, where you're on your journey. 
either or either it's going to happen okay so this is going to be wonderful um winning for some people you're going to be victorious over this person you have been victorious over this person that's why this person wants you to fall because you have um you have walked away from a situation and somehow the universe had just let something happen that he fell on his face okay and there is clarity because you're going to walk away from it because you have won something and uh, you are seeing the clear part and he's trying to come back at you but what he's trying to do is not going to work because he's going to fall himself in it and this is the two of ones in reverse and what is happening with this two of ones in reverse is that a door opportunity had opened for you and this person had tried to do something okay and um what happened is that he's gonna fall fall deeper than where he was he's gonna fall deeper than where he was so be aware let him be but ask the universe to release you from him or release him from you okay let him fall because he's gonna fall in the pit okay as we look at the middle of the week, as again, you have the, the Ten of Cups, which is a wonderful energy. You are having the the the, the Knight of, uh, this is the energy of the Knight of Wands. You are moving with ambition and you're, you and your family are moving with ambition and you're going to make it. So whoever this uh, this um, King of, uh, of Sword is, he's, he's, he's silly. You know, look at this King of Sword person as a silly person. He's a sick, he's really unbalanced. This is what I'm getting. It's extremely unbalanced. The man should not be anywhere out of, uh, not, uh, he should be in a mental hospital, whoever this, uh, this person is. He should be in a mental hospital because, you know, you have these people and you, they think they can always reign and they're, they're full of it and they think they're, they're, they're it themselves. But realize that um, these people are only for a time because uh, whenever they behave like this, they all always end up on the floor because somebody is going, somebody who is stronger is going to land them down. Okay, remember this. Always remember this. Do not let these stupid air people um, are going to deal with you in any sort of a way. You are a fire sign and you stand positive in in life and you are one of the luckiest sign. Okay, so whoever this air person is and it's not really a father figure it is just somebody who is trying to block your progress yeah i'm sorry i hate people when they do that and no one has the right to block somebody else's goals you're moving away from the situation you're actually moving away from the situation you're you're bringing transformation there this situation is going to be a transformation a debt and transformation to this situation so whoever that person is you're going to leave them behind and they were to fall off like flies falling off dead meat okay this is so i just despise people who try to break down other people i just can't understand why would i want to break down on someone else and not supporting them and put them up and there's so some people that their heart is so horrible they just have negative energies around them and in their heart but whoever this um Hair person is he's going to fall deeper than he has ever fallen in his eye entire life because what people do not understand is that whenever you vibrate with positivity and you never wish anyone anything bad, whatever negative people try to do, even if they think they get away with it, they're not going to get away with it because he, this person, is going to fall deeper than he ever thought he would have. Okay, so be aware of that. Um, so a transformation is coming in on friday the nine of pentacles come and this is extremely good this nine of pentacles um you earth sign have been receiving money whatever is going on in this week you not earth sign fire sign have been receiving money you fire sign most of the fire sign readings are have a lot of money coming in and the nine of pentacles is a gift and um whoever this um the knight of sword so there's two knights so there's movements the knight of swords is you know like sitting on um certain sort of a thing but he's he's looking in, in the past and you are there in the future so what's where is happening on friday you will have an assessment of the nine of pentacles so money gifts of money will be coming in 
Um, I'm getting the energy vibration of, to tell you guys to buy the lottery. Whatever it is, buy the lottery. You will never know, okay? Not a lot. Just buy one, you know. Um, for the people who live in America, it's cheaper to buy the lottery here. Buy a scratch card. You're going to tank. Buy the lottery. Buy a scratch card. You know, this is the time... Whenever I'm getting these energy vibration in a week, this is the time that the angels are saying to me, these message has to go out to certain people whose spirit guides are helping you from beyond the spirit or beyond the veil, is saying to you, because there's a lot of nine of pentacles, and nine of pentacles is always give unexpected gifts coming in. Nine of pentacles is so prominent in the coming week, so I think there is a situation. What I'm seeing not happening for you guys is that a lot of the, the fire sign had so many numbers, but it, it, it's not happening here. I, 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 you guys are always lucky, so anyway. On Saturday, there is competition with other people, competition with other people, but you're going to win. Yeah. Yeah, you Sagis. You know, I love you Sagis. I can so get along with you, Sagis, when you're in a positive, when you vibrate in a positive energy. Um, because you guys can be also very negative and destructive. And you can um, break your own luck by being destructive. So, like, when you're very positive, you're so positive people and I love being around positive people so when you Sagittarius are positive nothing can hurt you the energy of the Sun success with everything that is going on here with a five of um, ones I think of the five of swords um, this is going to be this is five of ones so it's going to be conflicts people are having conflicts but you are going to come out on top okay you're going to bring you're going to be successful over this conflict on Sunday we have the energy of the world congratulations so this is going to be a profound wonderful week despite the beginning of the week with this hair person this hair person is very unbalanced um, um, but the world comes up on Sunday and the world is coming up and it's bringing and shedding light to a situation it's as if the hermit your inner wisdom, the world is ending something, and then you're finally seeing something, and you are like, oh my God, I never saw that before. You know, I don't know if you like me. I, you know, my free time, I sit and contemplate when I, I, I um, meditate, and then I, I was like, whoa, okay. Oh, so that's why, you know, so this is going to be one of those days, which is the end of a situation, because you had the Eight of Cups, and transformation on Thursday and Friday you have the nine of pentacles on a Saturday you have conflicts which you're going to win and be successful over this conflicts and then you have the energy of um, yeah the world so the energy of the world is as if um, the inner wisdom you're going to see light and inner wisdom to a certain situation in your life and certain things that was happening in your life and this is going to be um, profoundly um, important for you okay again do not let anyone stunt in your growth okay whoever this air sign person is get to the bottom of it and and all you have to do is pray and if you don't pray all you have to do is that I'm calling up the universal angels to remove this air sign person out of my life Whoever this person is, is to remove this person out of my life because um, by removing this person so that they will no longer block my pro progress, okay? This is obviously someone who you have worked with and I need to tell you, do not trust anyone around you, okay? Trust yourself. Trust yourself and the universe, okay? Um, we always tend to put ourselves in, put our trust in ourselves, but there, there are people who are so bloody dishonest the last time. I'm sorry. But there are some people who, they're like um, Judas. You know, like people preach about the Bible and they want to tell you about church and it's going to be this and it's going to be that. But the, in every group, there's always one bad, bad person. And um, I am somebody like this. If I know you're negative, I'm not dealing with you. 
I'm praying for you, but I don't want to have any contact with you. And, you know, when, you know, because you, you Sagittarians are so much positive people, you have good things for you, and people will see your light and want to take it away. So whoever this negative energy of this um, hair person is, remove it out of your life. And all you have to do is call upon the universal angels to remove them, okay? See? Even now, you have the element of hair. So obviously, um, when the element of hair, I need to do my nails. When the element of hair is here, I embrace the element of hair and I am open to all knowledge and wisdom. So there was something coming in about the wisdom, the world and the wisdom, how you're going to realize something, okay? And it says, I embrace the element of the hair and I'm open to all the knowledge and wisdom of the world, that sort of a thing. So whosoever this person is, basically it's an hair energy. You're vibrating with the zodiac energy of the hair. And the uh, the supporting energy that you have is Tuesday, but you have the two of ones in the reverse, and you have conflicts, and that conflicts on Saturday, you're going to win it, and you're going to you're going to win this conflicts and come out on top on Saturday, okay? And then you are going to realize and I am getting this so strongly for someone out there. Do not place your trust in your family. Do not, people who wants, be aware of people who wants to connect with you, okay? Be aware of for, for whatever reason they are, okay? Because you're a lucky sign and you have luck and people will just connect with you because they want to ride on your truck forward, okay? <laughs> All right, I want to say to each and every person, please like, share these videos and thumbs up and um, share them. Let other people know about this channel. Um, there is so much more that is come, going to come on this channel. I'm so busy, but I'm trying to do stuff that I can really reach people, that I can really help people because people do not have this enormous amount of money to go out and find help. And I think that some people ask so much for their readings. And I'm trying to do it much um, easier so that everyone can be um, taken up in this. So I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. And we'll talk next week.